Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Pokes Your Channel and the Guitar Letter System. Hey, this is, um, I recently sold a 65 Garcia to a really cool guy named Malcolm. Congratulations. Um, you know, I, I, I own a lot of guitars. I've decided to let this one go as well. This is a 69 Federico Garcia. It sounds really beautiful. Um, it's got some really beautiful mahogany on the back and, uh, it's got a little place here where there's a little bit of like, looks like some of the finish is kind of off a little bit and uh, doesn't really bother me too much. Could be, could just be a slight small little crack right here in a very small area. It's kind of hard to tell. It could just be because the finish wore off a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't worry about super small little things like this. I, I, I believe in full disclosure, so I mention it, but really not a big deal. Like I said, it's uh, kind of hard to tell exactly. A little bit here and it goes up a little bit here but uh, this is really a fantastic sounding guitar and uh, it looks really nice too it's got some kind of white stuff here on the fretboard that might be able to be cleaned off but uh, anyway I'll let you hear it <laughs> I've noticed with the Federico Garcia guitars from the 60s is they they project a lot of tone with very little work. Some guitars, like I've noticed my 70s Garcias, you have to work a little harder to bring the tone out. But with these Garcias, I mean that you still put a little more power into it, you bring out more tone, but they... I, know, I'm, I just woke up, so I'm really just... Uh, very simple demo here. This one has, every guitar is a little different. That's what's so fun about this whole guitar thing is they're all a little different. And uh, I always feel a lot better when I know a guitar is going to somebody that really is going to love it. Anyway. figure since I'm selling my other Garcia I might as well let this one go too because I've, I've hardly hardly played this one either I just when I find a, a Federico Garcia or a Garcia that really has a beautiful tone which is not easy to do by the way they're not easy to find the great the great ones are few and far between I buy them but I'm just I never play this one science a high quality instrument. So I'm barely playing. As you can tell, very simple demo, but yeah, this is a beautiful guitar. Um, I'll let this go for six forty nine. I really don't want to sell it. I really don't like selling any of my, 
any of my nylon strings, especially I, I really love the Garcias and the Federico Garcias. Uh, but I've, I've, I've played a lot of them and uh, some of them just really sing and some of them are kind of blah. That's not bullshit. So yeah, this, this one really, really sings out. And it just is, it's a beautiful guitar. Like I said, it's got a little area here where it looks like it's been, some of the finishes coming off might be a very, very small little area of a crack. Might be a crack, might not be a crack. It's hard to tell because, because some of the finish is off and I can barely feel it. So I, it didn't bother me. And I, I wouldn't worry about it. It's not like something where it's, you know, all the way across. And I, I'm not sure if it's a crack or not, but it doesn't bother me at all. That's why I bought this. But you can... It's always hard to describe a guitar tone, but this particular one, it's got a, a beautiful warmth and woody mountain tone and beautiful vintage classical nylon sound, but it's got a clarity that's hard to explain. Six forty nine, and I'm not sure if it has a, a chipboard case or not. I'll have to look. But uh, yeah, really, really, these are these are nice guitars, man. Uh, I I really love my Garcias and my Federico Garcias. I, I was not going to sell any of them, but I just bought another car, and you know, so kind of recouping a little bit. But uh, I work hard to find the great guitars. I find they don't just fall into my lap easily. I mean, once in a while I get lucky and they do, but most of the time it's a lot of hustle and a lot of looking and turning down a lot of average ones. But this one just, as you can hear, just sounds beautiful. It's a 1969 Federico Garcia, 649, beautiful guitar. It's a little dusty right now. Anyway, all right, folks, take care. Let's just go back a little bit. all my Garcias and classicals, but like I said, I just bought a car, I spent a lot of money, so whatever, gotta let stuff go with, with joy. I, if I, I know it sounds crazy, but I believe in certain metaphysical laws of the universe, and one of them is non-attachment. Maybe the Buddha wasn't, wasn't a guitar player, that's a joke, but yeah, if you get that. Anyway, but yeah, I'm letting these guitars go with joy, but it really makes me feel good if somebody gets it that really loves them, and I mean that. All right, it's a Zen thing with me. All right, folks, take care. This is my, my other... Federico Garcia. It's got a little a little area here where the finish doesn't look quite as the same, you know. All old guitars have a little a little something of an issue, but yeah, this this is a, this is the real deal. Really nice guitar. A lot of guitar for the money.